Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to our crochet vlog, episode 13. As promised, we're going to be doing acquisitions today. I'm going to divide it up into two separate vlogs because I have so much. So today we're going to do uh, some whips that I'm doing and some finished objects, technically, I suppose. And yarn. I'll show you the yarn we have, the new yarn, which is pretty great. So let's get started. Where did I start? So my scraptastic blanket. Big. I'm starting to love it. So I started on this side and I got about, I guess about this far and I hated it. I was like, I'm wasting my time. It's going to be so awful. Um, like obviously it's not pretty but as it grew I'm totally like I'm totally into it it's super um, easy like all you're doing is half double crochet uh, you join your yarn whenever it runs out or whenever you decide it runs out I'm basically doing two rows of a color with a background dark color I divided all my scraps and what do they call it? Balls Eve started. I divided them into the two piles last time, I'm sure you remember. So I had lights and pales, like pastels and light colors, or light neutrals, and then I had dark colors and bright colors. Turns out I had so much, it's too much, like it would be, I, I have enough for two blankets. So I decided to do the darks and brights as one blanket and then later I'll do the lights and pastels as another blanket unless I have another idea but it's turning out really good it's like so thick it's basically I hope is that four feet four feet wide so far or four feet long four feet tall and depending how you want the stripes to go and it's really wide it's wider than my it's about five and a half feet, I think. It goes across a queen size and down on the edges with some drape. So I'm, ex I'm like actually excited about it. It's hot, like crocheting it. It's kind of getting to be summer here. So I do it in the morning when I'm cold. And then when I start getting hot, uh, I have to put it down because it's like actually a lot of acrylic. It's a lot of acrylic. So my afternoon project is out of cotton. I don't know what we're calling them. Do you know what it is? It is like a soap sack or a washcloth with a bar of soap inside or a soap bag. I don't know. But um, I started making them. I made a bunch for the kids. So all different colors. So how that started, uh, we buy the big one liter, what do you call them? Like shower gels, the Dove. So, you know, good ones because my half of my family is allergic to anything that's too crazy. So they can have Johnson and Johnson, or they can have Dove. Uh, other things they get, yeah, they get they get itchy too. So the big bottle of Dove, it's not the cheapest thing in the whole world. Uh, my daughter is basically like anytime she needs soap, fills it and then like uses it and then fills it again and uses it. Like she'll go through like at least half a bottle a day. Which is good. For a while she wasn't using soap. So I mean, I'm not complaining about the soap. However, can't we just do color-coded soap sacks for each kid? So each kid, they have put hooks in the shower, one, two, three, four, five, six, and everybody has their own color of bag and they get to pick their own soap. So the little kids pick the, well, they have the small Johnson & Johnson, those little guys, in whatever flavor they want, but small like this, so that fits in their hand. Uh, in with their favorite color so everybody knows whose soap is what and then for the grown-ups I thought we could use the bigger doves because that's nice one quarter moisturizing cream do they still say that or I'm just showing my age anyway um, these bigger bars for the adults and then I wanted it a bit textured so I did like single crochet treble crochet single treble single treble in a spiral because who wants to join anything uh, but it worked out super great. So that is my soap sack for 
the, this is a 100 gram bar. No, 135 gram bar. <clears throat> so that fits inside just like that. What you're supposed to do in most of the patterns, I watched a bunch of them, is you do your single crochet, chain one, skip a stitch to make this spot to weave in your chain for tightening it, and then do single, a row of single crochet on top to finish it. But on this one, I forgot to do, I just cut my yarn, I'm like, oh good, I'm done. And I was like, oh, and you know me, I'm lazy, I didn't want to join again. So I just tried it, and I love it even better. Like, it doesn't look, it looks like a covered bar of soap, not like a bag with soap in it. So this is my new thing, I'm all about it. I wanted to just show you before I use it. I'm so excited. I have the cucumber dub inside. So I'm really excited about that. This is what I'm doing. I also made, oh, this one is out of that one. So this, I started that poncho that looked like a dishcloth. So I'm like, let's make dishcloths then. Looks like dishcloth, make a dishcloth. But didn't get to the orange on it. But really love it. So cute and like, how nice is that? Uh, to wash them, if they get soapy, like cake de soapy, you need to wash it. Just dip it in some vinegar, throw it in the wash. They come out like a fresh washcloth. So I want to make like a two for everybody. So then maybe like a smooth one and a knobbly one or I don't know what, but like, so there's two. So one in the wash, one on your bar of soap, no more sharing, uh, you know, liquid soap for people that understand how to use liquid soap. Kids who want to use soap every time, go ahead, it's right here. So that is my latest thing. Kids are loving it, totally working out. I can't wait to try mine. So love that. What else? I guess that's all my crochet. I had a sick kid, really sick actually, my, my youngest, my baby, he's not really a baby, he's four. Uh, he was sick this week and he's not a fuss pot and he was actually fussing, which was scary because um, I was, you know, I'm not used to that. Um, so he was home all week. Today's his first day back at school, which is great. And uh, so I thought I better come and say hi before mayhem starts again. So let's move on to acquisitions. Okay, what did I get? Do, 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 no. Do, 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 no. Okay, cotton cakes. I got these nice cotton cakes. So they are 200 grams and 430 meters. You need a four millimeter needle, they say, so like a five millimeter hook, and they're a thickness of three. So I have them in those colors and this color. So I guess there's four colors. So this is the one I'm using. I made that soap sack out of, and I want to make some washcloths, I think. That's my next kind of thing I want to do. These are cottons. That row there is cottons all the same to that blue down there. Uh, these ones are super delicious, super squishy, very soft. They're a two thickness. Yeah, 100 grams, 260 meters, and a three millimeter needle, so a four millimeter hook. They're really nice, kind of thin, but really fancy, really delicate. I just love these colors. There was only eight of these, and then somebody came and bought four. I was crying, but what do you do? And so I got them in this nice gray and creamy kind of like white to cream to gray to pinks. And then this one, this reminds me of ice cream, like orange sherbet, sherbet and really yummy. This is the one I tried to make that other poncho out of, but I think it would have worked out great actually, but I moved on. And then in this like tropical mix, and then this brighter, vibrant tropical mix. So I thought those are really great. I don't know, I was gonna, like in my head, this is my face claws. Like I'll have this and maybe, you know, like everybody can have their own set, but gotta calm down. This is also cotton, 100%. These are 50 gram balls. Do, do, do. 50 gram balls, 170 meters, so they're a three millimeter needle, so a four millimeter hook probably. And they're also a size two for thickness. Really great colors. Um, 
So these are really great. These ones are mercerized, by the way. I forgot to tell you that. Those are all mercerized up until the cotton cakes. So that's mercerized. This is just 100% pure cotton. Now these ones here, lovely, lovely, and lovely. So until here, those are acrylic, self-striping acrylic called gumball. So they're really great. Which one? Do I have one out? No, I don't. That's going to be noisy. Uh, so they're 100 grams and 320 meters and a three and a half to four millimeter hook. So I'd use a five needle. I mean a five. That's needle sizes, so I would use a five hook. And they're a three for thickness. So they're really uh, soft and great. A bit like a chunkier, chunkier than a DK by a tiny bit, but really soft and I love the colors. And then from here, going that way, these are all uh, magic DK. So they're self-striping DK. Here's one that's out. Oops, I could get the right way around. Uh, these ones are 100% acrylic, 100 grams, 340 meters, and it's a three to four millimeter needle, so like a five millimeter hook. And they're a thickness of, I think that's a three. But really great colors, super soft. I think they're even softer than the gumball. So I have it in like a white to blue a cream to turquoise, blue to yellow to turquoise to white, really nice pink to green to yellow to white, and then the pinks from pink to rose, or from white to rose color, I suppose, and then this really cool charcoal -y, gray black to hot pink, well, not really hot pink, candy pink, I suppose. So really like those. What else did I get? That can't be all. Well, I do have more, but I haven't uh, got it out of the box yet. So I guess that's all I have to show you. Needles and stuff. I'm going to do a separate uh, vlog, I don't know, video, I suppose, not really a vlog, about needles, like which needles to buy, with, like which are good, because I've used quite a few of them, and what's good as gifts, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but I'm going to do that in a separate tutorial because I think there's a lot to go through in there. And I want to set up... Oh, let me sit down properly. Okay, I'm back. Hope you can see me. My crazy little way of setting this thing up. All right. So that is the yarn I have set up. I have more bamboo for my empty shelf up there. I have to package it and bring it out. I haven't done that yet. And I have a whole bunch of more chenille in cream color. I also have to package that and bring it out. Oh, and then there's some more there. I have a mix, the acrylic, 45% acrylic and 55% cotton blends, all in like self-striping, changing color really deliciousness. I have to do that also. So those are the three I have to still do. Oh, plus my silks. Next week, maybe. Let me get, give me two weeks. Let's be serious. Got to like not commit so much, right? That's my whole goal. Um, got new coffee cups. I'll show you those next time too for the crochet class. Oh, new year, new cups. You know how it is. Anybody else have a coffee cup thing? I totally have a coffee cup thing. Uh, what I read or heard, maybe it was, uh, that whatever shape of coffee cup you use, no matter how cute any other cup is, you're always going to go back to the shape that you like. And I was like, oh, really? Because I'm always buying them. I'm like, oh, they're so cute. But then, like, you don't want to use them. You're kind of like, well, they're cute to look at, but do I, I don't want to put my tea inside there. So I cracked. They were on sale, two for one, and a good brand. Um, so I was like, all right, let me get new ones for the class. So I did, and it's great. We're all using them. It's super cute. What else? Oh, nice viewer tip from AR. She is suggesting I take some film of shopping out and about. 
So I was like, that's a totally great idea. Now, trick of it is, you're not allowed to film anything out and about. Um, like for security reasons, terrorism, blah, blah, blah. What they think is, is like, I'm a terrorist and I'm going around filming so that I can, whatever it is, tell my cell like what it looks like on the inside of the mall or come up with a plan or whatever. I have no idea. But uh, you, then they have security guards everywhere. So I've tried to <laughs> I tried, I tried. So once I put my phone like in my sports bra, like, you know, not a sports bra, like a sports shirt, like, you know, Adidas, heavy duty, ex a workout shirt, I suppose, kind of tucked it in there because people do put their phones like in their bras here because I guess no one's going to, you're not going to get robbed from your bra. I mean, I don't do any as a handbag like a normal person, but uh, no one would really think it's weird. Or so I was, so that was my pretense. Like, I'm like, let me try that. But what happened is it kept on kind of like slipping kind of to the side. So like halfway through, uh, it kind of started slipping. So that was a bit rough. So then I went in with my son trying to be like, oh yeah, like pretended I was like scrolling through my chat to try to like do that. Did that for a bit. And they were kind of like, okay, weirdo. Like, and now I was in a grocery store that they kind of know me. So, I mean, but if they came to stop me, it'd be pretty embarrassing. So that only went halfway. Then I did another one at a shopping mall that I really love, Garden City. It's like, but it's out kind of like, it's not in the bubble. Like it's not near where I live. It's not near the UN. It's not near, you know, our embassies that we're all familiar with. It's like out, it's like 25 minutes away, which is fine. I mean, I can still drive there. It's not so bad, but, um, and the mall's fabulous. Like if it was closer, it would be so busy. So I'm like, oh, let me do that. But then literally some guy came up and like tapped me. He, he, did, he wasn't <laughs> like a security guard. They all wear blazers and they're all like super official. Like I'm a security guard. Uh, but he what, didn't even have his blazer on yet. He's like, excuse me, ma'am. Like you can't film here. And I was like, oh, really? Oh, sorry. And then I just kind of like shut my phone. Cause I'm like, if he makes me delete it, like that would suck also. So it's just a little bit of inside them all. It's not the greatest thing. I'm going to still try. I think if I go with one of my friends, so there's like two of us, and we're talking, or else I could put in headphones, I'm thinking put in headphones, and then pretend I'm like chatting with somebody, because I have like a flip case, like I have a flip for the front of my phone, so I could kind of hold it a bit on an angle and film that direction and pretend I'm talking, but like if somebody comes up behind, they're going to see that I'm filming, right? So, I don't know, I'm working on it, I'm working on it, I mean it's a good, it's a totally good idea, good challenge, I'm up for it, I'm working on it. If I can find any usable footage, I'll put it on after this, just so you can, like, get a good laugh. Uh, what else? Oh, in my journeys, I'm going through the grocery store. I think my camera was all flipped to the side, which is probably what I'll tell you now, because I don't even think it's there. Uh, I, there someone, a company here, a good milk company, is finally making, a, like, coffee cream. Like, honestly. I don't know, it's almost 20 years I haven't had call it coffee cream or what do you call it, creamer or like like the milk, like the half and half or whatever it is, uh, less than half and half I guess, but the, you know, milk. So they're actually like one liter jars, they're calling it barista, super classy. It's like 4% or something, it's not like super creamy, but like, oh, I'm so excited about it. Uh, you can't really, I guess you can tell the difference, but milk here is, I, like I generally just drink three and a half percent anyway because I'm bad like that and it's delicious and it tastes good but so three point I think it's three point seven percent anyway super excited about that and found it because I was giving you guys a tour of like the dairy section or I was trying to give you a tour that was the sports bra or the sports shirt version so worth a laugh if you're bored um, what else oh I have a list of people to thank and I didn't bring it I'm sorry I got I to gotta get better at that. I'll work on that. Anyway, going for lunch, now that I have all the kids at school today, although my oldest one tried to be sick this morning, no you're not, um, going for lunch today with my girlfriend. So maybe I can do a little I spy camera work there. Um, we're going to the Italian restaurant, as we do. So that'll be really, ex I'm excited about that. We haven't gone since like, Oh, I think it's like November because she went back to Canada for Christmas and then I was obviously away for all that time with the kids swimming. So I just came back and then sick kids this week and blah, blah, blah. So our first lunch of the new year 
and the Christmas season, which doesn't count anymore. So that's good. She's leaving again in two weeks, so we're going to do double lunches until uh, she goes. She's just holidaying. Don't mind her. And what else? Class tomorrow. Cancel class on Monday because I actually fell sick also, and uh, which was crazy, but I did. So no class. On, well, there was not class on Monday, so there'll be class tomorrow. So I'm thinking I'm going to turn this into a class. I want to do mandala stools, pretend I'm showing you, as a class, and the Rowana poncho. Mm, the stools have a pattern, so that's good. This needs a pattern, and the Rowana poncho, my nice blanket one, needs a pattern as well. So I want to do those three classes casually. Um, we have it set up so like you work on whatever you're working on or if you want to work on something we've already done, you're free to do it. I have pattern, I have about 45 patterns, 44, 45, 46 something already done, printed out and ready to go. So if you want to do any of those, um, go ahead. If you want to do something new, then you have to wait for me to get like ahead of you. Like I have to do it, make the pattern, blah, 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 and then we do it in the future. So got a lot of that going on. One of my students is starting the hexagon or super easy hexicardi. Love that. I totally want to make another one, actually. Um, that's turned out to be super popular. Uh, working on affiliate links, it's a bit tricky because somehow they, they used to be able to call Kenya, now they can't call Kenya, like the Amazonian affiliate program, whatever. So working around that, uh, remembered that my brother is like, that's what he does for a living. <laughs> Doing. So just got to get that sorted out, like with the time change and... And then that'll be slamming, so then we can, I can set that up. Which was a great tip from Wendelin, by the way. Thank you, Wendelin. I'm still on it, I'm still working on it, just haven't got there yet. So that's what I'm doing now. Lunching in 45 minutes, so let me download this to the computer, or upload it or switch it over, and see how far I can get, and have a really great weekend. Let me know what you're working on. Thanks to everybody who joined the Secret Yarn and Crochet group on Facebook, link in description box below. Uh, sorry for taking so long to get onto that. Oh. I need a personal assistant, actually, or a clone. Cloning would be great if there was batteries to unplug her so she wouldn't make me crazy with all of her projects and activities because I'm sure she'd be just like me. Um, so a timed clone would be great. Or remote operate, some, some sort of control over it would be great. Um, Anyway, that's what I'm up to. Uh, thanks for everybody who joined. Post pictures of what you're working on, please. Love it. And thanks for everybody who's sending in the emails and stuff like that, because that's also really nice. I, that comes up on my phone, so that's easier for me to check. I don't, I don't no excuses. I need to check more. I'm sorry. Um, so that's it. I'm going to be working on this. I'm going to be working on these. I'm going to have a class tomorrow, and I will be waiting to hear from you what you're up to so thanks everybody for watching please like subscribe and share totally does help out i'll talk about that in the beginning when i'm supposed to do one business maybe i have to come up with a timetable schedule of what i'm supposed to be talking about i just get so excited <laughs> anyway have a super great weekend let me know what you're up to what you want to see what kind of projects you want to do this year uh what kind of cal you want to do i totally want to do a cal maybe we do you want to do ruana poncho as a cal i'm totally up for it like super up for it. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Have a great weekend and like, subscribe and share and stay hooked. This is Garden City Mall, which is a really nice mall, a really big mall, totally open air, which you can probably see, maybe we'll go this way. So all this is open, so there's always a breeze and it's always really great, but no one ever comes here. And there's the top of the food court. There's two stories of food court. This is kind of like more of the restaurant-y kind of area. Italian restaurant, pretty good pizzas actually, not bad. Hit or miss, it's either great or it's oily. Not the big highway, Thika Road. Or Thika Highway? Thika Highway. Uh, parking lot, it's usually always empty. Actually on the weekends it's busy. But the neighborhood is kind of not, not super expat. It's kind of more like working class, upper working class, local area. So that's kind of suffering the mall. It's been open about two, three years, I guess. Three years, something like that. But 
Uh, I'm here with my son, who is home from school because he's sick. Anton, let's go this way, buddy. We came to find lightsabers at a store. Let me get my bag one sec. At a store called Game. That store over there because it's actually a Walmart subsidiary. It's South African, so it's a South African version of Walmart, which is. And I guess they have Maasai Market, which is like these vendors. And there's a helicopter. Oh, can't see it. Bummer. Place to have drop off your kids while you do shopping. They tried really hard, actually, but lots of stores have closed down. Just because it's not busy. Like, down there used to be my favorite paint store. But now it's going to be an arcade, I guess. Like paint, like house paint. Yeah, sugar. I, you want popcorn? After. Let's do our shopping first. So game now doesn't open until 10. It used to open like crack of dawn. So this is quite a big mall. This is just one part of it. Hmm. Hi, how are you? We don't allow to go to the mall. Oh, we don't? Oh, okay. Thank you.